All right, guys, so uh, let me come clean. I have a new bike. I'm supposed to be extremely excited, but I'm not. Let me explain. What's up, guys? My name is Charles, and welcome back to my cycling YouTube channel. In today's video, it's again another unboxing, another bike today on the channel. And uh, this one is might be just one too much for this year. I've, I've been building bikes all year. And the problem with that, don't get me wrong, I'm super blessed to have bikes like that, but most of them, except one, I have to build it myself, I have to source all the parts, I have to spend hours online on eBay chasing parts and trying to buy and go to my local bike shop to get told that it's out of stock. And it's just making this whole process of having a new bike, building a new bike, not that enjoyable because it's so hard to find a group set. It's so time consuming and here again this brand that we're gonna see we're gonna explore their frame they did not send a complete bike per what i've requested uh, so i'm not really sure if i will build the bike to be honest but without further ado let me at least show you guys the frame because it's a new bike that i don't have yet on my quiver packaging well done and as you can maybe tell this bike is looks quite heavy looks quite beefy as well but i gotta give those guys a a plus for packaging here oh why is this so difficult and just when i think i'm done there's another layer sorry this is taking very long i was not so, the new bike is... And now, all of you Rudy's are like, what the fuck, Charles? Is this a mountain bike? And hell no, it's not a mountain bike. It's a fat bike. So this brand, even though it says here, Tri, tri Aero, uh, it's called Iken Cycling. That's the company that sent this one over. I don't know why they use this name, Tri Aero. Kind of a bit cheesy and as you can probably expect this comes straight from china so this one is a full carbon fat bike frame it's really heavy it's about 2.5 kilograms and i have no idea if this is on the heavy side of fat bike if it's carbon it's probably as light as it, it can get for here i have a frame suspension uh, I have never built a bike with frame suspension. Light blue, I feel it's it's cool. It's gonna look very nice on the snow, riding it on the winter. Look at this huge dropouts here behind. That's really wide. That is very wide. And I'm, I'll be honest guys, this frame has been sitting in my living room for the past two weeks, three weeks now. And I was not excited to unbox it, but now that I see the bike, I see the frame, it's really tempting now. It's really tempting. Now the problem is, do I wanna spend two grand to build a fat bike? And then I need the wheels. I don't have fat bike wheels. I need fat bike tires. I need a suspension. I need, do I need a fork? Does this came with a fork? This, this did not come with a fork, but it came here. What well, looks to me like a handlebar. All right, so at least we have the handlebar. This looks, is it carbon? This looks like carbon fiber. It's pretty light to be honest, but very, very bummed out that uh, it doesn't have the fork. So that's another few hundred bucks, I, I, I'd say perhaps to buy. Did it come with a seat post? Fucking hell. So it did not come with a seat post as well. So that's, that's another few hundred bucks. This is gonna get expensive, huh? I was not expecting that at all. So, all right, so now what can I say about this frame? So first of all, it's 100% carbon fiber. It's Torre 700. So what we're used to see in pretty much every single bike out there on the market. This paint job is called Turquoise Glossy. It looks great. I don't see any paint chip or damage the paint job looks like well done if i do see default i will surely let you guys know so the weight according to their website is 2560 grams 
Uh, this feels a bit heavier, maybe because of the plastic there, but let me, let me weigh it one sec. So here I have 2.7 kilograms, so I guess because of the little plastic rails here and there. So Sipo size, it's a regular 31.6 millimeters, so at least it's something standard. So this frame come in three sizes, either 16 inch, 18 inch and 20 inch. I have no idea what those measurements meant because I'm not from mountain bike, but I picked up the smallest one. So this is the 16 because I'm small, I'm five foot six. So the bottom bracket is a BSA 120 mil. Uh, I don't have a bottom bracket for that, so that's another purchase to do on my hand. Uh, this is really wide, a lot wider than any road bike I got. And now what's truly important with fat bike is the tire clearance. As you can see, this is very huge and the tire clearance can fit tire up to 4.8 inches. So again, another thing to purchase to build this bike. All right, so what was the idea behind this project? So when this brand, I can reach out for sending in a frame, I've looked at the inventory and they have a bunch of road bikes, mountain bikes, they do every single type of bikes. And I already have a few road bikes this year. The winter is around the corner here and I did a little bit of fat bike last year, which was super fun. But when I did that fat bike, I rented the bikes for about $50 a day. So for me to invest $2,000 in building this bike with the proper group set and tires and everything, the fork, seat post, saddle, is it worth to put two grand in a bike like this that I will ride five to 10 times this winter? I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, only time will tell if I will build it. Alright, so turns out I was scrolling through Marketplace and I found a good deal. Um, so there's this girl who sells this uh, Garneau Gros Louis uh, 2. It has a Shimano Deor. It has baby BSA 120 mil hydraulic brakes, Schwalbe Jumbo Gym tires. Uh, everything looks good. Uh, price is $1,700, I negotiate a little bit, or a bit high, but no hassle, no shipping, no surprise, no need to wait for all the parts, I'll be able to build the bike and have it ready as soon as the snow hits, so let's go get it! Alright, I got a brand new bike! Here it is, hey man, it's, it, looks, it looks brand new, it looks like it haven't been used. Yep, and uh, the people were really nice. They say they're gonna follow me on YouTube, so they might stumble across this video. <laughs> All right, let's bring this home. All right, so back in my garage, it's a bit echoey, sorry boys, but here's the new frame that I presented today. Here's the Garneau, it's a old weed, but man, I smell they are, that's, that's pretty good. And everything is new, chain's new, cassette new. Uh, I think there was a flat tire that got repaired. Uh, hydraulic, pretty stuck on that. Yeah, looking forward to swapping everything. All right, guys, so if you still enjoyed this quick unboxing, please don't forget, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already. If you are in the market for a new fat bike or any other type of bikes, because they do it all, check out I Can Cycling. There will be a link in the description down below. Not too sure if there will be a discount, just a link. All right, guys, my name is Charles, and I will see you guys on the road or into the next video. Peace.